Hi people and I'm back cooking again and today I'm going to be doing tuna and baby spudsators and salad well I've never heard that before but let's go let's get on with it right I've got all my ingredients here the spudsators are boiling um, I've got my tuna steaks here, um, baby beetroot, lettuce, tomatoes, and cucumber. So let's just get the tuna on the plate uh, I will be cutting the things up on the plate as I've been and bought new knives again so all I've seen to do is buy new knives so I'll be using another sharp knife which when I was washing it today I cut myself with it <laughs> as you can see I've now got a tomato on the plate I'm going to use my guard because that cut my hand today. Oh my god, look how, sli how easy it slices. That's so good. That's so I've been told, and I've even researched it, that cutting tomatoes and lemon blunts your knives so I went oh, put them on that side so I went out specifically to buy some serrated knives in there serrated knives to, for that to stop that reason well it's not going to stop it is it I mean it's always going to be the same so let's just cut some yes I'm using the same knife that I cut the tomatoes up but it don't really matter does it it's going out all going in the same mouth right there we are that's that done now i made a mistake this morning i could only get either baby beetroot or crinkled now i can't stand crinkled beetroot it is the most disgusting thing i've ever tried Right, let's get this lettuce is falling off. Oh dear. I just did. this is getting in. Sit on properly, right? There. So now we're gonna put oh it won't come out of the tin. Of course it will. The tuna fish coming out of the tin now I haven't opened it fully that's probably why I had trouble but yes it's coming out now there we are come on get out now there we are it's all out now that's all the no in no in no in that's all the tuna fish out a bit under the now I'm gonna have to get a spoon to get the beetroot out because put that into soak so it don't uh, lose the serrate and well I'm gonna put some beetroot on it and then we're just waiting now for the spud taters to do. Sorry I didn't show me putting the spud taters on. 
Uh, I mean, we all know what a salad will taste like. I'll take a a bit of beetroot, cucumber, and try and get a little bit of lettuce. I'm not going to try tomatoes because I don't like them. Near, a bit too near. That's it. Tuna fish. Yeah. Um. Potatoes. We a bit of beetroot on. Yeah, I mean, not keen on boil, boiled spud taters, prefer them mashed, but yeah, this is nice. Right, I know it was a botched up <laughs> taste test. Uh, Case said it was nice. I know I didn't try the tomatoes. I don't like tomatoes, but the, the list did say it does say tuna and baby spud taters and salad now the word they did start off I did five baby spud taters oh my god my hands are killing but I ran out of baby potatoes so I got a big one and cut that up so technically they are baby baby spud taters but apart from one, one big one, which I cut up into the size of, well, I mean, I know you're going to say, oh, them taters, that, yeah, that's the big one, the baby ones, because uh, I, could, I, I cut them in four, so, you know, you couldn't really tell which was the baby ones and which one's the big one. So, yeah, if you like what you, oh, hold on. Right, um, well, like Kay said, it was nice. Um, I didn't try the tomatoes because I do not. <clears throat> excuse me, I do not like them. I can eat tin, but I can't eat fresh. So if you, oh my God, I've lost it again. There's going to be a link in the description to my merchandise. If you like what you see, please keep viewing me. Eh? If you want to give me a thumbs up please do if you want to leave a comment and a recipe please feel free the more the merrier and if you haven't subscribed oh god if you haven't subscribed <laughs> that lettuce is good stuff if you haven't subscribed or you know someone who hasn't subscribed get them subscribing get yourself subscribing get everybody subscribing thank you bye